In today's world, our increasing dependence on electronic systems in the fields of safety, communications and systems verification introduces, as an undesired side effect, the creation of electromagnetic interference. In the constant search for a cleaner, safer and more efficient world, measures to reduce such interference are vital. TDK, as a major supplier of electronics passive components, is particularly aware of this need. TDK is one of the world's largest manufacturers of electronic components and materials. In this modern age, industry and the consumer are becoming increasingly aware of the environment. The automotive, telecommunications and many other industries now insist on extensive EMC and RF testing. In 1826, the physicist Michael Faraday conceived and built an apparatus designed to prevent the passage of EM waves known since as the Faraday cage. It serves as an EM wave barrier, either containing within or excluding them from the interior of the cage. The most frequent and precise use of the Faraday cage in the modern world is as an anechoic chamber to provide a test environment totally void of RF interference. The automotive industry, with its ever-increasing dependency on electronics and its products, is just one extensive user of the chamber. TDK is at the forefront of satisfying all of these demands. Recognizing TDK's expertise in this field, a major European automotive manufacturer awarded a contract to construct a state-of-the-art EMC and RF test facility near Paris. The facility would enable the complete verification of emissions from the vehicle to the outside world and the environment as well as assuring the intended immunity of the vehicle from external interference. One year's intensive design and planning preceded the construction phase of the project. The fields of construction, electronic and mechanical engineering came together to play their part in the realization of this very complex structure. Regular coordination between TDK and the architects concerned guaranteed that each milestone was achieved and the project was ready for the scheduled date. Once these vital requirements were met, the all-important shielding process could begin. The shielding technology applied to this project consisted of modular galvanized steel panels. To guarantee the optimum sealing factor between each panel, a system of precision flanges and high-spec gaskets was used. Last but not least in the shielding process, the doors, both swing and sliding, would play their part later. Three large fully automatic sliding doors allow vehicle access to each of the three chambers. In addition, nine smaller swing doors ensure easy access between the three chambers. The unique factor of all these doors is that they open and close in parallel using a four-point latching mechanism. A double knife system guarantees 100% sealing factor. The positioning system of both goes via a PLC control. All of these factors combine to ensure that the doors have a long and efficient lifespan. In front of each large door there is a ramp system to facilitate the easy access of vehicles. The ramps are interlocked with the opening and closing action of the doors. Regular progress meetings took place at every critical stage of the construction.
With the completion of the shielding, the next stage was the installation of a hybrid radio wave absorption system. This technology, a TDK invention, is a combination of a high performance ferrite tile and a logarithmic polystyrene absorber. The superior electrical performance of this hybrid absorber is achieved due to both components being manufactured by TDK. This unique absorber design guarantees an electrical and mechanical performance in excess of 20 years and total resistance to humidity and water ingress.